One fourth spicy aioli. What? Can we weigh it? Wait, what? Let's just eyeball it. Baby, I what? just don't want to dirty up a dish if we don't have to. Measuring cups are the worst, and then you have to use a spoon to scoop it all out. It is not worth it. Let's just eyeball it. Or we can put it on the scale. That way we know for much, how much okay. for certain. I mean, I can just rinse this one out. I'll rinse this one out. <sighs> okay, guys. So, as you know, it's date night, and I have been tasked with the task. I don't know how that works. With uh, preparing the crab cakes. We're using a recipe from Lisa from Low Carb Yum. And she will be in the descriptions with the recipe for those who want to try it at home. Um, with a couple of small working tweaks to this one. Because you can't ever do nothing normal. I love you so much. <laughs> okay. First things first. Let's start with the most important thing. The crab. Uh, this is the crab we got, Boss Crab. We bought it at Meyer in the seafood section. It's been recommended highly from other websites saying this is one of the best to get in the can. And we weren't fortunate enough to live on the coast to actually get the fresh one, so spare us a thing, you know what I mean? This is the best we can do. So this is what we're doing. All right, the recipe calls for two cups. This is 16 ounces. I'm assuming that's about two cups. My math ain't 100%, but doo -doo 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 -doo. yep, we'll go with that. All right, so first things first, we open her up. Let's get a look at this, what's going on with this crab. All right, so here we go. Let's see what this bubby looks like. Ooh, ooh, you seeing that? Oh, it's wow. all organized. It's all beautiful looking, are you checking this out? Absolutely gorgeous. Go ahead, crab boss. Mmm, okay, um, honestly, I really don't see any water. I don't see any moisture. I think this is really highly recommended and for a reason. Take this first step. Here we go. Boom. Wow. I have to say I'm really impressed. It's really the consistency is nice. The texture is nice. Ooh. -wee. The second thing we do is the egg. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is put everything to the side because I don't want just everything to meld together instantly. So I'm gonna put the egg off to the side as well. Boom. The very next step, the chipotle aioli. These are one of my working techniques, if you know what I'm talking about. Normally it adds, the actual recipe calls for avocado mayonnaise. But we're gonna change it up a little bit, put a little spice in it. Go with chipotle mayonnaise. So there you go. I'll put that over there like that, like that. A teaspoon and a half of the good Old Bay seasoning. I think this was named after Old Bay of Louisville. That's not the, okay. All right, there's one and a half. We'll count that as a half. Thank you, Old Bay. You wise and noble jest. A teaspoon of a good old healthy Dijon. And we're just going, let's tell totally a teaspoon, just act like it was. I didn't see that. Let's clean it out with our famous rubber spatula. More flavor. Ow. Just one splash. I don't even need a measuring thing for this. One splash. Beep. Then after that, everybody. Oh yeah. Oh yes. You don't see, okay, it's in the bag. I'm sorry, I should bring it out of the bag. This is what we call the working touch. You want to go thin. You don't want to go too thick because you don't want to really chew on this as you're eating the crab cake. So you want to just go really thin. And then, just a little rough dice. Boom, boom, boom. Keep chopping it, keep chopping it, keep chopping it. That looks so mm -hmm. professional. Oh, whatever. And then go this way. Boom, all right. And I'll just go one more just to be safe. Okay, take that. Boop, boop. Game no. changer. Yes. Okay, now that we're at the food processing center, he knows how we moved to a whole center over here. The recipe calls for literally a half a cup of pork rinds. You see that? I'm gonna go just a little bit more since we added the jalapeno earlier. So let's go, instead of a half a cup, let's go a half a cup plus. 
Let's see, I don't know really what that is, so let's start with a good base. That looks about a half a cup, right? Let's see what that is. Let's pulse it, boom, boom, boom. I'm thinking we need to have, oh, a little bit more. I honestly think we could just blend up the whole bag and then save the rest. It's not gonna go bad. Wow. Okay, everybody. Now that we're back at the master station, as you can tell, we got this. This is basically now we're in assembly mode here. A couple of more ingredients. Let's just go ahead and add our world famous pork grinds. Okay. Put a little bit of that good old lemon juice a little bit of that. Save a little bit for afterwards, though. Don't go too crazy. This is just a small little sampling. So you just want like a little teaspoon. In there. Slowly, just. Slowly mix. It's supposed to be a half a cup, remember that. So we're going to start with a half a cup ish. Just leave a little left over just in case. Now, this is where you want to be gentle. Do not break it, do not rush. You want to just slowly, just slowly bring it all together. That's when you know you got something good. Okay. I know I got something good. Oh my gosh. I love you so much. <laughs> okay, so now. There's that. You want it to where as soon as it touches, you want that sizzle. You want that, you want that crust, shall we say. And then like I said, you just want to be super gentle. We are not, it's not a hamburger. We're not really molding it. We just want to let, let the crab come to us. So just come to me, crab. Come to me. There we go. Oop, and a little bit. There we go. There we go. Rinse and repeat. On to the next one. And it's the same basic principle. You really don't want to handle it too much. You just want to let the crab do its thing. Another thing is I'm not going to crowd the pan. So I'm really going to stop at three. Three is the limit because if you crowd the pan, then the temperature in the pan drops. And then just walk away. You let that sit. It uh, smells so good already. Three to four minutes each side. Okay guys, so it's been on a while. Let's get to flipping. what you want. That's what you want. That's what you want. The final touch is remember that lemon from earlier guys? Remember that old lemon? We told you told him that he wasn't going away. Oh you're back. So here's the move. You just take that lemon as you would do at any seafood restaurant and give it just a little. You don't want to do too much. Don't overload it. Just hey, you see like three drops. Boom. Mm, three, four, three, boom. Mm, three, four, three, ba, 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 boom. See how fast I just did that? I could have been a superhero if I went any faster. Um, so basically this is it guys. Date night in the Weathers household. Walking with Richard. Ignore that third one though. That one, ignore that one. But, for the most part, absolutely scrumptious. Yes, please. Apparently my wife has definitely been in this a couple of times. No apologies. <laughs>